Let's get into some fan mail. Uh, bu- bu- bu. This one comes uh, through Instagram. May 5th is the day. GGG versus Canelo 2 happens. Question to you guys is if you think GGG will knock out Canelo now that he is not on PEDs, on PEDs. This question obviously stems from Canelo testing positive twice for clambuterol, which if you don't know, a lot of bodybuilders use uh, the week of competition to lose any excess body fat and a lot of excess water weight that they don't need in their bodies to get those cuts to look good in competition. Clambuterol I have used in the past and I, and it's a lot like it's a lot like ephedra. Ephedrine? Ephedra? It gets your heart racing, it gets you from my personal use. I, re- I remember taking clambuterol, powdered clambuterol and having a panic attack at the 24 hour fitness that I used to go to. It's an illegal performance enhancing drug that Canelo cannot be using while in competition in training to have a bout, to have a boxing match. I believe the failed test will be weighing heavy on Canelo's mind. In camp, he's going to have to be really fucking careful what he puts in his body now. Back to your question though, if Golovkin can knock out Canelo, if you take a look at his record, Gennady Golovkin hasn't knocked out a middleweight, a real middleweight, since 2016. His last knockout was against Kel Brook, but Brook had jumped two weight divisions to get a crack at Golovkin. And I know what a lot of people were saying before the fight happened. People were saying, well, this is Kel Brook's walking around weight. He should feel comfortable fighting at that. You don't. That's why these guys cut weight. That's why they're not heavyweights. A career welterweight fights a middleweight and get destroyed. The last real KO that Gennady Golovkin had was against Dominic Wade on April 23rd of 2016. It's not that Golovkin doesn't have power. It's that when he faces a guy that's naturally bigger than him, like Alvarez, who I believe walks around at 180, 185. Same thing with Daniel Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs, if you saw him in that video where he was arguing with one of the, with one of the Charlo brothers, he looked really full. I, I believe he also walks around 180, 185. When Golovkin's in the ring fighting these naturally bigger guys, he lands hellacious shots that have knocked out guys before. It seems that his pop just isn't there with guys that are naturally heavier than him. In my opinion, I don't think Golovkin's going to knock Alvarez out. He might knock him down. Canelo might be too cautious about what he takes and puts in his body. Going into this bout, whether it be taking a certain supplement or taking the correct vitamins to have him stay healthy in camp. If Canelo second guesses too much of the stuff that he's putting in his body, he will have a lot of trouble in camp because he will just be focusing on what he's putting into his body instead of giving 100% in training camp. I believe and I predict Gennady Golovkin will win the second fight by split decision.